16 fluid ounces plus 3 pints plus 4 quarts is equal to how many gallons? Now, the one unfamiliar thing here that we haven't seen before is this 16 fluid ounces. We've seen ounces before, but not fluid ounces. And to make things confusing, they are actually very different things. Fluid ounces, fluid ounces are a measure of volume. Fluid ounces measure volume, just like cups and pints and quarts and gallons do, while ounces, while ounces measure weight. Measure weight. And this might make it kind of confusing or maybe less confusing, but it also happens that a fluid ounce of water at standard uh, temperature and pressure is going to weigh a little bit more than an actual ounce. So that's why they're, they're kind of close. A fluid ounce of water is not that different in weight than an ounce, but they're two fundamentally different things. This is volume, this is weight. Now, a fluid ounce, there's many ways you could think of this. One is that you have eight, let me write it here, you have eight fluid ounces, fluid ounces per cup. Or, since there are two cups per pint, you also have 16 fluid fluid ounces, 16 fluid ounces per pint. You could view it either way, or you could say that you have 32 fluid ounces per quart, or you can multiply that times 4, and that's how many fluid ounces you have per gallon. Ounces, which is a unit of weight, you have 16 ounces, 16 ounces per pound. And since I told you that a fluid ounce is a little bit more than an ounce, you could kind of figure out that, hey, a pint of water, at standard temperature and pressure and all of that, that a pint of water will weigh a little bit more, almost a pound, or actually a little bit more than a pound, but roughly equal to a pound. So that's something that might give you make things simpler or more difficult. Now, let's actually tackle the problem. So we have 16 fluid ounces. I just told you that there are 16 fluid ounces per pint. So 16 fluid ounces, let me write it over here. So 16 fluid fluid ounces fluid ounces times times now we want the fluid ounces to cancel out. So we want fluid ounces in the denominator times fluid ounces fluid ounces. Now how many fluid ounces are there per pint? We want a pint in the numerator so that this and this cancel out. Well, we just saw that there are 16 fluid ounces per pint, or that 1 16th of a pint per fluid ounce, either way. But we see this and this will cancel out. And so 16 over 16, this is 16 times 1 divided by 16, is equal to 1 pint. And we know that 16 fluid ounces is equal to a pint. If we have 16 fluid ounces right over here, this is 1, this is one pint right over there. So we have one pint plus another three pints. So if we were to add all of this part right here together, if we were to add all of that together, one pint plus three pints is four pints. Four pints. Now we have four pints. Let's convert it to quarts. Four pints. Now we know that there are two pints per quart. Or we could view it this way. We want the pints to cancel out. Or one quart, one quart is two pints or 1 half quart per pint. And we wrote it this way. Instead of 2 over 1, it's because we wanted the quarts in the numerator and the pints in the denominator so that that and that cancel out. And it makes sense. If you're converting a smaller unit to a larger unit, you're going to have fewer of them. So you're essentially dividing by 2. So 4 times 1 half, or 4 divided by 2, is equal to 2, two quarts. So this whole piece right here, these 4 pints, are equal to 2 quarts. That's two quarts. And you could visualize it. You have two, two of these combined make one quart. So you have four of them. It's going to be two quarts. So you have two quarts here plus another four quarts. So this entire quantity, you have two quarts plus this four quarts, are going to be six, six quarts. So the entire quantity is six quarts. And we have to convert that to gallons. So let me write it right here. We have six, six quarts. And we want to convert it to gallons. So we want gallons in the numerator gallons, and we want quarts in the denominator so that it cancels out with this quarts when we multiply them. And how many quarts are there in a gallon? Or one gallon is four quarts. One gallon is four quarts, or one fourth of a gallon per quart. Now we can multiply. The quarts cancel out. And you have six times one fourth, which is six over four gallons. 
And now we can simplify this. We can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. This is the same thing as 3 halves gallons. So 3 halves would be an acceptable answer right here. This would be 3 halves gallons. If you want to write it as a mixed number, 3 divided by 2 is 1 with a remainder 1. So it's 1 and 1 half gallons. Either one would be an acceptable answer.